Today we're opening one of the best tins ever made, the Command Knight Tin. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have the Command Knight Tin opening. You're like, why is this good? Like, why is it one of the best tins ever made? And uh, if you don't know, this is a 2004 release tin which had Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Ferrani Guardian. So inside these is an awesome selection of packs that by far outstrips 2003, 2005. I mean, 2002, you could argue, because they have some pretty awesome ones. But this is about as good as... I guess 2003 is still pretty good, but like... I mean, Magician's Force and Invasion of Chaos only come in one tin. Before we get into this, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card or pack that we open in this video. This tin and these tin ghosts from the past one packs were purchased by Nicholas B on Ruxin34.com. So if you guys want to check that out and you want to buy something, have me open it on video or just ship it to you. You guys can do that. Let's get into the opening for Nicholas B. He said he wanted them open on camera, so we get to see what he pulls. Let's hope he pulls a ghost chair. Let's hope he pulls something crazy out of those IOC and MFC packs. That'd be pretty epic. Let's see what we can do. We got Ojama Country. We got the Medolce Fresh to start. Mass change. Dark Requiem. So they are at the back in Ghost from the Past 1. They were the third slot in Ghost from the Past 2, so it's a little different. Sun Avalon Dryachinchie. We have seen that one many a time in our openings. We're going to do the Ghost from the Past first, I think. Then we're going to get into the 10, because the 10 is the main event. The Ghost from the Past, I mean, they could be the main event if we pulled the Dark Magician, which has happened before and recently. Okay, Medolce Chateau. We've got the Salamane Great Falco. The Metaphors Fusion. Sunvine Thrasher. All right, starting off a little slow. If you guys remember, Ghost from the Past 1 didn't have the craziest pulls in terms of mid-tier, but the top tier had some crazy stuff. So let's see what we can get. Cypherblade, Metaphors, Artifact Durandal. We get the Hieratic Seal of Creation, and that is it. That's the fifth card. I always think that I'm one card away, but I'm really not. That was the last one. Let's see what we can get, Nicholas. So far, not much. Let's hopefully gonna get something better than this. Gold Driver, get the Time 3 Flyback. Fairy tale, Tales, and the Starry Night Blast. With evenly matched, there it is. That's the best card in the set besides the Ghost Rares. Big hit right there, not bad. Ironically, this is worth more than all of the cards and ghosts from the past two besides the Ghost Rares, which, you know, we were talking about how good, you know, much better it is, which it is much better. It's just because there's a lot out right now, but it's funny because that card is worth more than all of those. So evenly matched is doing pretty well right now. Time Thief flyback, let's see. Heal Zanru, the Cosmojo, Sunsea Genius, and Higher Attic, Sky Dragon, Overlord of Helabalolis. Helabalabalabalabalus. All right. Helabalabalabalus said we're going to pull a ghost here. He told me. Let's go to the next pack. Metaphors of All Flame. The Higher Attic Seal of Supremacy. Higher Attic Dragon. Higher Attic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Helabalabalus. this Shooting Star Dragon TGX. I can't say. Helopolis. Hel Heliopolis. Heliopolis. How about that? Heliopolis. All right. Laval Volcano Handmaiden. We got the uh, Fairy Tale Tales, the Starry Night Blast. And, and, and. Hieratic Seal of Creation. I can say the Hieratics. That's about the only archetype I can say in this entire set, which is great. This is it's great for me. Next pack, Cosmojo. Metaphors Stealing. Medolce Pudding Cess. Time Thief Winder. And the Starry Knight Rael. Two packs to go until we get into the 10. So far, evenly matched. So we did pull the best card besides the Ghost, so that's not bad. Let's see what we can get now. Artifact Durandal. Siriyaryu. The Rare Metaphors, Bismogear, The Evil Thorn, Starry Night Flamel, and that is it. It's the Starry Night Flamel. Next and final pack. Before we get into Command Night, before we pull Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force cards, Hieratic Seal of Supremacy, Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit, Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. There we go. Sunvine Healer and Ghost Rare. Will it be? Time Thief Double Barrel. So not a bad card. Time Thief Double Barrel. Okay, it's not evenly matched, but it's decent. Now we open the 2004 10. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. 2004, an epic year because of the packs inside. We've already discussed this in the video, but <laughs> pretty amazing stuff. Six collectible tins okay maybe not the favorite promo i mean there's probably some better promos i personally don't necessarily care about command night too much you guys might care about it because if you had this one as a kid you probably love it but uh yeah personally not my favorite in terms of the tins i think i might have actually had this tin because it might have been one of the only ones left but the selection this year is not as good in terms of the promos like blade knight is a good one uh insect queen's pretty cool but wait do we need to we need to do a little bit better inspection on this how's the how's the promo oh wow 
Nice. A little bit of a, a thing right in the middle there, you guys can see, but pretty nice overall. All right. Five packs. Oh, there's the front of Guardian trying to hang out in there. Five packs. So obviously we're going to save these two for the end. Let's say, let's go with Ancient Sanctuary first because Ancient Sanctuary is just, I mean, it's just the least exciting. Let's be honest. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Can we pull, what, Dark Magic Attack? A Secret Rare would be pretty cool. So the Secret Rare would probably be the Retail. What's the Retail Secret? I think the Retail Secret's Anubis or is it... No, it might be Mazira Deville. I don't know. Let, let's just pull it and find out. We got the Spirit Collar. Blessings of the Nile. Oh, yeah. Egypt. Okay. Jiu-Jitsu Master. Very cool. The Beckoning Light. It's beckoning. It says, come on. Let's do this. The Third Sarcophagus. Let's pull a Secret Rare. We got Emissary of the Oasis. That looks like a Magic the Gathering card. I don't know. Except for it has color. You know, a lot of times they have, like, really dull colors. Micro Ray. The Disc Fighter. He's literally... He's like he's like Frozone, but with discs. If you guys know what I'm saying. And a special hurricane. Okay, I'm pretty sure all hurricanes are pretty special. I don't know what the difference there is, but pretty cool. Let's do it. Dark Crisis next. I think that this is pretty nice because we can pull Skill Drain. $30 rare. Not bad. It might be down to 20 something now, but still pretty big for a rare. That'd be pretty nice. There's also some nice commons in here. And then, of course, obviously, we want to pull a foil. Exodia Necros would be pretty cool. Even Unlimited. Guardian Elma. We did pull two in one opening once a long, long time ago. Like, go check that one out. That, that was... I mean, if you guys missed, like, old school, you know, it's very boring Ruxin. I mean, a lot of you guys liked that back then, which is good because that's how we got here. But <laughs> I took a really long time to open this pack. It's very of the spring. Speaking of that, we need to speed up. DD Trainer. The Agito. Very cool. The Kelbeck. And finally, will this be a foil? First foil of the 10. Infernal Queen Archfiend. So it's just an Archfiend and Infernal Queen. All right. That's not a foil. That's not what we're looking for. But don't worry. Pharaonic Guardian. A lot of amazing comments we can pull in here. We don't even need to pull a foil out of the set because it's so crazy. Swarm of Locusts. Going to play some Pac-Man, guys. If you guys missed my Junior Journey episode with MBT and... Uh, oh, there it is. Go check it out, first of all. Metamorphosis. That's the best comment in the set. It's like $10 plus dollars, even in Unlimited. Amazing. Servant of Catabolism. Just the creepiest card ever. Like, I don't even know what's happening in this card, but it's creepy. Disturbance Strategy. Very, very cool. The Gravekeeper's Guard. He's guarding. He's graving. Swarm of Locusts. Yeah, there's the Pac-Man card. Yeah, you just flip it down, flip it back up. It gets a true spell trap. Pretty cool. Secret Pass of the Treasure. Your Duel Link Special. Dice Jar. This is also worth a few bucks. We're going to pull that one over. Trap does shoot. It's the perfect pack. Oh, my goodness. If this is a foil in it. This is crazy. So this is like an $8 common. And New Doria. All right. So New Doria. But that's okay. When you get three commons, all worth like $3 plus. So it's like $10, $8, and $3. So that's like $21 in just regular commons. So that's pretty insane. Now we have come down to the final two packs. Invasion of Chaos and Magician's Force. We're going to save Magician's Force because we've opened a lot more Invasion of Chaos because of the reprints. They didn't reprint Magician's Force. That's why we've opened a lot less of it. It's just a lot harder to get at this point. You can get the reprints for Invasion of Chaos a lot easier thanks to Walmart. Ah, even though you can't really find them as easily anymore, which is unfortunate. We got the Prickle Fairy. The Coach Goblin. He's coaching him up. This guy looks like the guy from Rocky. Is this inspired by Rocky? Is this what's his name? <laughs> All right. We got the uh, Soul Absorption. The Be Gone Knave with the massive hand. It's like, Be Gone Knave. All right. <laughs> Next card. Chaos Emperor. We've got the Big Koala. Yeah. Do you, who remembers that GX episode with the guy who loves these koala cards? He also has Master of Oz. Very strange. Okay. <laughs> Thunder Crash is the next card hit. Will this be our first foil? Come on. Blackluster Soldier. No, it's the next card. It's Blackluster Soldier. Blazing Impachi. Zero defense, but pretty cool card. Wicked Wooden Spirit. Now burning in flames. It's fire attack. It's powerful, but it will soon be nothing but ashes. Well, that's unfortunate for him. And... Lakunga, the Lakunga, no! Okay, so uh, definitely not great in terms of foils in terms of this tin. Let's see if we can change that right here. We've had some pretty good commons, which is nice. So if we can top it off with a foil, it'll, did that open down here? Won't be too bad. Let's go. Let's do this. Can we pull an amazing card out of Magician's Force? Unlimited, but pretty cool. Oppressed people, they are oppressed, but believe they will have freedom someday. Someday. Who knows when, but someday. <laughs> All right. They, they believe. It's impressive. All right. Poison of the Old Man. The Aitsu. He's on a paper airplane. Very cool. Dark Cat with White Tail. That's just strange. Okay. But look. like He also has white eye, and half of his body is also white. One of his legs. No, two of his legs. 
Strange. Very strange. The spell absorbing life. Okay. Magical plant mandragola. I remember this card from back in the day. I was like, this card is garbage. <laughs> okay. Hidden book of spell. Okay. Not as garbage. A little bit used. And and next card, I think. Yeah, after this one. Royal Magical Library. They talk about an annoying card. Royal Magical Library. And finally, the final card of the 10. Let's go. Tribute Doll. No, and we're ending it with a rare, so no foil 10, unfortunately. But they do get the promo, which is pretty cool. And, of course, the epic Ferrana Guardian pack. If it weren't for that, it would have been pretty rough. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust, Cards, Tone Foe Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Drax Dream, Moose, Junior Barding, and Anantai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.